Good afternoon and welcome back, Low Country. We started the day pretty cool with temperatures in the 60s. We've quickly warmed, and I'll get to the temperatures in just a second. But I want to show you the first alert live, Super Doppler Max, the Low Country's most powerful Doppler radar, where we are tracking just a few showers offshore. Some could brush the coast, so Georgetown, Williamsburg counties could see, maybe even northeastern Charleston County could see a, an isolated shower, but staying mainly dry because high pressure is over us right now. Notice how, and I've told you too, high pressure moves the flow is clockwise. So you see how this is starting to uh, navigate towards the right and this is starting to navigate towards the left. So you can see the circulation here really cool. But notice how we are just stuck in the middle, this dry bubble due to that dome of high pressure. So let me take you through the future tracker. Still watching some of those and some of you could see a, a raindrop or two this afternoon, but really not much. So as we go through uh, the afternoon, picking the kids up from school, then going into your drive home from work, could push a little further inland but again, not expecting much. Going into uh, your social hour tonight, into the 11 o'clock showtime with Bill tonight, it's looking pretty good. Now, let me tell you about the temperatures because, again, we were in the upper 60s along the coast, low to mid-60s the further inland you go earlier this morning. But we're already at 88 degrees in North Charleston. We've got 86 along the coast, 88 Somerville, Walterboro, 83, though, in Monk's Corner. So a little cooler there, just depends on where you are, but ranging in the 80s at this point. If you have afternoon plans, maybe pick the kids up, they've got practice, or you're just going to take the dog for a walk later on, it's looking pretty good. Now, we will heat up. A lot of us will be in the upper 80s, but some of us will be in the lower 90s. So just be mindful. It just depends on where you are, right around 90 degrees, but 89 is where we should be this time of year. So feeling pretty seasonable. Notice pretty dry, thanks to high pressure, with just some light winds, but plenty of sunshine. So a great day to go to the beach. Check it out here. Live look at Folly Beach. 86, lots of sun, a northeast wind, 10 to 15 knots, and low tide is at 817. So that already happened, but high tide, 242 this afternoon. Now, since we're talking about the waterways, I want to transition to the tropics. If you're just joining us, tropical or hurricane Gaston has been downgraded to a tropical storm. So that's great news. However, it does look like it'll probably restrengthen. But right now, moving northwest at 17 miles per hour with 70 mile per hour wind speeds. I'll put the track into motion and notice how it stays a little weak here in a tropical storm, but then it wants to restrengthen into a hurricane, category one, maybe even a category two, as we go into next week. So Thankfully, it's still going to stay out to sea. We're not really worried about this one at all. But this is the one that I want to talk about. Invest 99L, still just a tropical wave, not expecting uh, cyclone activity until at least 48 hours to the next five days. And over the next 48 or 24 hours, it could be in the Bahamas, potentially wanting to take it to the Gulf of Mexico, something that we will continue to watch. But thankfully, we're looking pretty good because we have that high pressure on top of us that will help to push anything out into the Gulf. I will tell you this, though. Things could change. It's very early. And also, high pressure does look to weaken as we go into the weekend. So just be mindful of that. We'll, we'll keep it uh, posted here on Live 5 News with all the updates. Now, take a look at the weekend. Looking pretty good right around 90 degrees with just a small chance of showers approaching on Sunday and for the rest of your new week.